We've gotten a full rest, right? Yeah. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Um, yes, you have, well, yeah, um, yeah, you have gotten a rest at this point. Since me training with my bow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, welcome back. Uh, this is episode 4.3. Uh, I have two bards and a noble. So, let's see. So far in this session, we went up against a swarm of rats, anaconda, Yes, dinner was good. The girls are very good cooks. We try. Not being sexist or anything. It's just that they cooked and they did a damn good job of it. We know. Um, we eat our own food. Yes. That's our totally food. edible. So, let's see. So, you guys took the underground passage. Okay, we're basically on day nine at this point. Of our journey down to the... Swamp, swamp people? Swamp people. Frog people! Um, do 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 <laughs> So, um... I'm playing that on my in the video. tunnel, you evaded a swarm of rats, giant mm. snakes, took out a giant alligator, mm. Tasty meat. and skinned it. Good hide, too. And then almost killed your new bird mount. Almost Grew a tree in the middle of the, middle of the water. Communed with ancient weaponry and found out that Skeksis are fucking evil. <laughs> um, learn that you can share memories. Am I missing anything else? Um, missing other than guys. me fucking up and trying to talk to spirits in the middle of a swamp? No, no, not at all. Okay. Well, then, since we're all here, um, let's roll for initiative. Oh, fuck. My D4 is gone. That's not good. <laughs> 20 total. 4. 6 in total. 17. She's going first. 22 feet. in total. Okay. And what'd you get total, Sky? 6. Is that my phone? That was mine. That was mine. It, was mine. it wasn't mine. Wow. Broke likes to have an initiative of seven. Each fight, I've rolled a seven for his initiative. What do you oh. I'm not gonna... Garok of the seven. Is it over there? All right. So, middle of the night, um, and you guys get woken up by Garok. Grow. Who warns you? Swamp moving. Bad happens. stuff come. <coughs> As you awaken and you look out, you see rising from the muck of the swamp are these five undead, rotting, humanoid forms. Yeah. So one of them's not a rotting humanoid? I didn't say that. Okay. I say you see five. Oh, okay. Rotting humanoid forms. Lovely. And you also see standing behind them on top of a rock looks to be a spectral figure of a robed person just standing there. And you also see what looks to be a skeleton f inside of a plate, inside a plate armor that's just shambling around. So, Fee, you're first. It's a spectral thing, right? It's not, it doesn't have like a physical body, it's like a ghost. Seems that way. Oh, I'm useless in that situation, but. I can I load my crossbow and aim at that guy's head between the head? Eyes? Sure. Make an attack roll. <laughs> Strength, right? No, that would be dex because it's your crossbow. I'm 22. Roll damage. And don't forget to do Dr. Bolt. Plus 
six in total. Okay. Yep, the bolt goes straight through its chest, out the other side, leaving a hole. But other than that, it doesn't do much. It doesn't slow it down. All right, next we have Sam. Aim for the heads. I cast Aldric Blast on the spectral figure on the back. Okay, make an attack roll. Aldrich Blast. Spell. Okay, so 18. 18? Yep. That's a hit. Roll damage. Nine. All right, a blast of glowing golden light issues forth from your hand. Slams into him in a bright flash of gold. And you see his form temporarily kind of phase out and then come back into focus. He's a ghost. I don't think we can hurt him. He's already dead. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, my turn. Okay. Sam, take one point of shadow damage as he mutters a quick incantation under his breath. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Would this be bodic inspiration worthy? You can't. Oh, no. Okay, blessing worthy. The blessing that they gave me? Yeah, you do have a blessing you could use. Okay. And a wisdom saving? Yep. Eleven. Eleven? Okay, everything goes black. He falls unconscious, I'm guessing. And a shadowy crown appears above your head. Alright, It's next... nighttime too, isn't it? Yep. Fuck. Next we have... The ghouls. Oh. Actually, let's switch this over so that everyone can see what's going on. Um, there we go. Now you can see the battle map along with us. So the ghouls are going to come up, attack, attack. Get up just to there. All right. And okay, so the first one attacks. One of the frogmen that you, you never even bothered to get their names of misses completely. The second one also misses completely. The third, ooh. Ooh. Okay, um, you see the frog guy over towards Fee? No, oh, uh, yeah, over one, other way. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Okay, well then, the other one, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, tip him over, he's unconscious. As the ghouls swipe at him with their claws and rake into him. Um, so next we have Grok. All right, which one's Grok? Could be this guy, I guess. Yeah, move him forward. Good. He's going to do two attacks with his staff. One's a hit and one's a miss. He does not do much. All right. Now we have Sky.
the stone he's floating over, standing on. Yeah. Do I notice anything special about it? It's a stone in the middle of the swamp. Okay. Just a normal stone? Yep. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go over, move me on my d6 to these guys, and I'm gonna smack them with my um, butcher cleaver. All right, make an attack roll. Hopefully, I roll high enough because I don't have any strength. Fourteen. That's a hit. Roll damage. Uh, the meat cleaver. Eight. Seven. Seven? Right. Yeah, it takes a huge chunk right out of him, even lops off one of his arms. Oh, good. Okay. But he's still standing. Of course. All right, next we have top of the rotation. Fee. Can I... I'll go up to that guy because I will trample over jo Josiah. Can I go up to that guy and like swing his head? Well, you have three guys right there in your melee range. 20, you want to do just one attack or did you want... I wanted to do that attack where I could... Hit one target, but I get disadvantage on hitting the second. I forgot the name of the attack because it's on my other character sheet. You're sweeping strikes. No, it's yeah. on there. Three Under your class? I believe. The fun of getting to know your new character sheet. Doesn't look like it's there. You just bounty round grow. Defender, counter strike. And then with warrior, the second wind and fighting. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to write that in and you did on one, but we didn't on this one. I do remember that you had it. Okay. So then if roll only your. one of us learned banish. Roll your attack on the first one. What? Nine. What did you actually roll? I rolled a four. Okay, a nine is not enough to hit. Okay. So that means you can't hit the other ones with the disadvantage. Because you have to hit, and then the second one you could try for disadvantage to hit. If you hit that one, then you can hit the third one. So as a bonus action, you want to try and use it defensively? Yep. Okay. All right, that makes perfect sense. All right, next we have Sam. Who can't see. So, Sam, make a wisdom saving throw. Not 20. Okay, the darkness fades from your eyes, and now you can see what's going on. As the crown of darkness disappears from above his head. Right before you almost killed the person next to you. Which person? There is Skak, and then there's the frog. Yep. Oh, um, what do you want to do? Um, all the ghouls in front of us, is the dude shambling around and armor still around? Yeah, he's the one that's over to the right that looks like he's wearing armor. The one I'm attacking? This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have my movement, right? Yeah. Off, a uh, off action, could I jump onto the skunk? I mean, sorry, the squirrel. My bad. That would be your full action. Okay, I'm going to stand right next to the squirrel. I don't, like, get closer to him. And spear the one in front of me. This one. Okay, make an attack roll. Aim for the head! Call shot head. <laughs> Alright, so that's at a negative three. 19 plus 3, 22. Roll damage. Uh, 
Nine plus three, twelve. How do you want to do this one? Head. <laughs> Just put a spear right through the center of its head. All right, goes right through its head, disconnects from the body. The body crumbles to the ground and just kind of seeps into the mud. You want to knock it over? All right, so that's one down. All right, next we have my turn. As you our see the, ally or? You see the spirit flare up in the back. All right, I need you, you, and you to all make poison saving throws for um, you and your mounts. I only need to do my mount. My mount is because I have a yep. resistance As to a cloud of poisonous gas, 20-foot radius appears across your, all over your campground. Um, I am... I have, I have a resist poison. poison. Huh? I have a resist. So you'll take half damage from it, but still, you have to make a uh, constitution roll. So it won't affect you, but it will affect your mount. So roll okay. for that. Six. Six? 18. Yep. Yeah, you're going to take full damage, girl. And your mount? What'd you roll for your... 18. 18? Tw 21 for me. Okay. My you... mount? Come on, right next to... Um, pop, 13. Pop and 11. Uh, do you, does my mount get a bonus? No. 13 total for the mount. 21 okay. for me. Punk got 11. Okay, so both of you are fine. Punk is fine. Can you move back as like an all hack? Can you move back away from me? Um, sure, he'll start backing out of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, B. Eight points because you're resistant, it goes down to four. Just and that poison cloud oh. remains. Off action, can I tell my squall to get back too? Huh? Can I tell my squall to get back too? Yeah. Okay. As long as my mount as well. I just he's moved. not on the map, so he's yeah. cool. Alright, I saw the so... True. On you he's on there. him? No. no. I put the d6 there because I'm taller than everyone. Oh yeah. So next we have the ghouls, which aren't really going to bother to move. Instead, all... One of them is going to attack the Skeksis. Because that's in range. Confirm. Yeah, you've got that 20. And then on the second attack. Actually, no, you cut off his arm. He doesn't get the second attack. Come on. Four plus 10 points of slashing damage. As it rakes across you. Okay. This next one is going to attack the uh, Roggy Boy. And a miss. And nope, that one's a hit. Okay. That frog guy yep. in the front there just goes down unconscious. Okay. And now. Fee. I believe you are the one standing in front of those two, the tall one, right? Yep, with my sword as a big fence. Okay, so that's me. one miss, two miss, confirm. 20. Yeah, another 20. That's the back! And a miss. Take... It would be five, but it's slashing, so you take half, so that would be two points damage. Okay. And then next we have Groke. Who is going to do a two prong attack against the guy in front of him? That's a miss. Groke sucks. Okay, he can't hit a bar the broad side of a barn door with that freaking staff. All right, um, and now we're down to Sky at the bottom of the rotation. I'm going to aim for that guy's head guy in front of me. With the cleaver? Yeah. All right, make an attack roll. Ten. No, 
you miss. Okay. Okay. Um, so back at the top, Fee. Um, can I, as a side action, move back? Yeah. Can you move me back to where, where roughly around next to you? There we go. Can I try going for a cap for the one in front of me? You want to try another one of those sweeping strikes? Yeah, see if okay. I can take its head off. Alright, roll for your first attack. Strength, right? Yeah. 11. That's a hit. Okay. 10 doesn't hit, but 11 does. And do I roll? And then you can roll for the next one in the swing. At disadvantage. So roll it twice. Take the lower. I have a 17 or 15. 15. That's a hit. So you can roll for the third one, too. That's within melee. Ooh. Also at disadvantage. Yeah, 9 was the last. Total? What's the five? 14. 14. That's a hit, too. Okay. So roll damage for the first one. I need another D8. Plus the one to work into. Plus your strength. And strength. So 12. 12? All right, how do you want to do this one? Decap. Three decap. Okay. Head comes flying right off. One decap. <laughs> and what's the damage on the second one? Oh, 13. Oh no, more, sorry. 17? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's two decaps. Shrink. And then the other one's gonna be a decap too. Hey, you. don't jinx it! He had 16 hit points left. <gasps> What's your max? On one of them? 16. <laughs> three decaps! He had 14. <laughs> Just three decaps. So, knock those three down. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> so all of you get to see her do one big swing <laughs> and just three heads fall. <laughs> A wide shot. Wow. Okay. I gotta say impressive, girl. <laughs> all right. So next we have uh, Sam. Sam. However, it's not a bigger threat that the dude behind it casted the poison storm that hurt, that attempted to hurt us. Yeah, there's still a poison storm all around you. So make a constitution check. I'm in. No, just him. It's, oh. it's his turn. Can I move out of it? Like, actually, wait a minute. We didn't charge it. Yeah. <laughs> he is just outside of it at this point. Okay, um, and she's immune to it, so I didn't bother making her roll. Okay, I'll roll. She's immune. This is a... I'm immune. She's half immune. 18, so, so I, I'm you, so good. You're fine. Okay, um, I'm going to cast another Aldrich Blast at that dude. Okay, roll. 10. Plus? That's total. Oh. No. You just miss. <sighs> you got to learn how to aim this thing better. <laughs> I'm far strange for I can't get over that it's gold because I'm so used to hers being like this black, purpley, <laughs> like abyss of a ball. One of the great things about spells is that they're customizable. Exactly. You can flavor text it the way you want. Yeah. An Eldritch Blast for a ancient one, <laughs> like Fee was doing, is a lot different than a leprechaun fag. Like he's gold! <laughs> Black shadowy orb of death. Gold! Ha ha! electricity. Instead of ha ha. Ooh! But, so. Yeah, anywho. Josiah um, and Cynthia would be good friends. <laughs> I do not think I'm usually get along with. Alright, um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, where were we? So. Mid combat phase under my turn. Yeah, end of your turn. So now it's Necro's turn. Confirm. Nat 20. Yep. Um, all the ones that are knocked over, stand them back up. What? But they're headless. 
headless. Ray is dead. But they're headless. Doesn't mean that they. They're not gonna so have... they don't have heads, but they'll still attack you. Somehow. The 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 zombie logic. They won't be able to stand for long. They're headless. Yeah. yeah. Sky, it's a magic spell. There's an aura around the corpse keeping it standing and moving under the guy. It has nothing to do with yeah. the head. It basically, think about in the anime when you see them use like the puppet strings. Yeah, that's basically for what the happened. corpses. Take out the puppet master. Somehow. I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. <laughs> well, my next thing is I'm going to impale this thing and hopefully it's got a material form or it's a waste of time. Because I can literally misty step above it and just drop down with my spear and be like, I hope this works. Okay. <laughs> so that's his turn. Now. Alter Blast a lot of damage. It's the ghoul's turn. You're, so. Um, this stuff can grow, right? 15 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Right. I'm trying not so to make it sound weird. That one misses and misses on um, <laughs> Grope. Okay. The one next to it you misses it to the point that it shoves its own claws into its own stomach. <laughs> Fee, um, you take six points of slashing, so because of your thing, down to three. Um, from the one wearing armor. And the other one next to it also gets a lucky hit on you. Take another seven, which down to three. And then the other two, can you move them f on the end there? Move them forward. And they're going to go after the first thing that they can hit. Which is me. You. Miss. Miss. Ooh, that's going to be a hit. You lucky freaking shit. One of them's missing an arm. One point of slashing damage. This was the first guy. And the other one misses. All right. Now it's Grok's turn. I feel like I haven't had a turn forever. <laughs> okay. Nice. Two hits. I don't, you didn't hear what I said. Nope. So as, if you can... Nine. Make your staff right. longer. The one on the Maybe end, longer, knock it over. Like, as no, on that end towards him. Yep. As Grok actually oh, finally no. connects with something and it shatters its skull and ribcage. You just need to okay. trust me. Now it's your turn. You with the we have too many in. We have too many guys around to be able to do that now. Yeah. I mean, if this was the one-on-one -on -one target. Yes, I'd totally be ready for Operation Catapult. Now. May I ask you an odd question? Yes. Have you truly looked at your spells? I mean... I don't mean those, I mean your primal. If you're meaning... Uh, mental defense, and then... Experimenter. Take a look at your spells. These ones? My bardic ones? I think it's one of your primal. I don't have Except for weapon of choice and my Skeksis well, spell. You have the tr passive true sight that you can use. You can cast for the advantage, right? Yeah. And then you have spirit guide. And do you, because of it being primal magic, you can also customize your spells. That's why you took Experimenter. Could I customize my spell to dispel spirits? Well, you know how to ask a question or um, force them to answer your question. So you might be able to force them to do something else if you want to push it that way. Yeah. So describe to me what you want to do. I want him to crawl back into whatever hole I summoned him out of. Okay. So then 
that's going to be basically communicate command the spell so i would say that that's going to be four spell points at that point i have 12. okay and i would say a difficulty of 16. okay but because you took experimental right yeah so it's only 15. No. no, so you take one off the spell point cap cost. So it's only three. Yeah. And don't you get to roll with advantage on trying out new spells? Yes. I might just have to take the final of the show how it's done, dude. I might just have to. And my character has no urge. And I get to use my... Um... Spell mod. Yeah. 21. 21? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I do. I'm sorry, that just seems like it seems better. Be gone! You see his, you see the spirit flicker and disappear. Uh, yep. And so at you that, just all hear me say, "Be gone!" And after it disappears, the other bodies fall to clumps of rotten flesh. Can I check the guys right? I don't think they're, they they have any ram. That's a pass. That's a fail. It's a pass. Okay, so Frog Boy One, um, right behind you, Fee, mm -hmm. is dead, but possibly sal salvageable. Can I try Not to completely, him? completely gone? Medical. Do you think you could actually use that spell you used on us earlier to help heal them? Healing word, I thought it was. The healing word will work yeah. on the one that's down. The other one looks more close to gone, but could possibly still be saved. I lose healing word. At this point, from what I can see, that I'm like right Don't here. Do you have cure wounds? You have cure I, wounds I too. I can't use it. I didn't take that spell slot for the day. <laughs> I can. Actually, no, it's a new day. I never choose a spell, did I? But you didn't say beforehand that you were changing it, so it's kind of unfair to change it now. Um... Would Power Healing Ward do anything for these guys at the moment? It would heal them above zero hit points. Can I cast on both? It would be one cast per. Okay. Which one are you casting on first? The one closest to me, so this one. Okay. 14 plus one my one's closest plus to gun. 30, 20. Yeah. You didn't have to roll for that, just roll uh, your healing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Which is your D4 plus your spell mod. Yep. Seven for the first guy. Why are you cursing Sam to, like... Heal people. I, I, Heal people! Yo, dude, I'm trying to get used to you, man, and you're not fucking helping, dude. Don't, don't make it harder for me, man. And nine on the other. Okay, so they can both pop back up. Oh, man. It says I am evil. Can I check them for any... It's just random. ...things that need to be stitched? Uh, no, the healing actually binds up their wounds. Okay, they're not... At full hit points, but they're okay. I'll hand them some elven rations that I have. Right. The Can I poison that glass spell clears down out. Down as a primal spell. I like that spell. You write the name, and then you have to keep casting it in order to do it. The good news is with experiment, it makes it much easier with the advantage. Mm -hmm. Trust me. But but once it's a full spell, you lose the advantage. Yeah, but you have such a small DC at that point. It's yeah. the, just don't fumble um, it. What would I put that so under? under level one, put primal. Power word to spell. I would say that's a banish. Banish? You told the spirit to go back where it came come, came from. That's a banish. Banish spirit. And uh, three spell points. It will not be reduced. And then put a mark next to it. You've cast it once. How many times do I need to cast it to make it a spell? Five? Once you cast it five times, it reduces the spell point count cost by one, and you can cast it as a spell. I think it wants to try something if it can't do, since there's no enemies now. Yeah? What do you want to try? Can she, like, crouch to the ground, put her hand Sorry, on there, like, idea. imagine, oh, wow. like a berry bush, like a blueberry bush, there. So you want to try and summon or grow a blueberry bush over these corpses? Yes. 
All right, so that would be a gross spell, but you're trying to grow something that's not there naturally. Yeah. Um, so and you don't have question. blueberries with you for seed. Do you? It'd be easy to grow bramble. But why? Why? Why bother? They, they, they're rotting. They're not even corpses. They're rotting. It's for flesh. experimenting. Oh. I'm experimenting. So at that point, I would say it would be at the spell point for your wild growth as a cast. Wait, what kind of things are in the Elven rations? You see a multitude of dried berries and nuts. Can I pick out some of the berries? Yeah, there's dried raspberries, dried strawberries. I'll just grab some raspberries and like put them on the ground. Like, see. Okay. Do and you you're gonna do growth on the dried out raspberries? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll for it. Add my spell mod, right? Yeah. Nat 20. Yeah, sir. No, I can confirm that that's a nat 20. Oh, I believe you. So, as you sprinkle down a couple of pieces of dried out raspberry and cast, raspberry bushes grow throughout the corpses, lifting them up off the ground and entangling in and out with them as red, juicy berries form upon the vining brambles. I'm not eating those. They probably taste like blood. I'll try them. <coughs> they do have kind of a dusty, dry, odd flavor to them. Kind of like okay. dried raspberries? I wonder what I'd call that. Growth spell? It's okay. your wild growth. It's just your wild growth. You, it's not a new spell. You just use wild growth on... Yeah, because you had the seeds from the dried out raspberries. Now, if you were trying to uh, raise a plant that wasn't there naturally, then that would be much, much more difficult. That's like summon plant. <laughs> yeah. Which is an odd inter idea. Alright. Um, so, you guys make up camp. Um, the frogs clean everything up. The rest of it. I'm gonna use the bed for thing. My grandma gave me. Okay. Why not? I haven't used it. Oh, uh, I'm sure you've been using it each night. Yeah, yeah. Because you got rid of your old bedroll for this one. Oh, yeah. We all did. <laughs> we all threw with junk. Oops. <laughs> well, he's going to use it. All right, so Is as... Is leaving now? Oh, okay. So as morning breaks... Okay. Hmm? So as morning breaks, mm -hmm. um, oh. everyone loads everything back up on the rafts. Okay. Um... The frog guys went through the bodies. There wasn't anything valuable. Kind of figured. At that point. How did they go through the bodies if there were bush spiky bushes on them? Right into the bushes. Raspberry bushes don't have thorns. Okay. Yeah, they do. They do? Yeah. They're supposed to. And the rose bushes do, but I think the raspberry bushes have thorns. Yeah. Oh, so, and we just get back on the road? So you get back on, um, at on about a couple more hours of traveling, and everything opens up. Okay, and you come to an area where the mist opens and you see ahead of you a village with huts on stilts above a lot uh, rising above an open pool of water mm. where you see frog people walking around on rope Carry bridges on you look down and you see things swimming in the water below you I don't want to okay. touch them Tadpole babies <laughs> yep and that's where we're going to leave it. So, um, as we've been saying on each of these episodes so far, and I know some of them have been short today. It's been kind of a weird day. Um, currently, we are asking for your suggestions in our comments to name the party. Because we're not quite sure what to name ourselves. Because two bars and a noble just isn't going to last for too much longer. Uh, so please leave your comments in your suggestions in the comments. If you enjoy watching the show, feel free to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing everybody next Sunday. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. That's the right day, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. Have a great night.